what's up guys welcome back to the channel so pretty much it's been a slow steady pace of receiving parts so basically this video is only gonna be dedicated to all the parts that really arrived and now we can start gaining some momentum of finally getting this car actually making some progress on it so as you guys can see in the background I got a new light also so it comes in clutch especially with welding and it's gonna be able to help me out a lot so I'm just trying to prepare myself um, there's some stuff I'm still waiting for um, after talking to Dana I'm gonna buy myself a whiteboard because I'm kind of messy and uh, something that I realized I lose track pretty fast so let's just go ahead and get to, to unbox everything that arrived because we are still waiting for some more parts unfortunately but at least parts are arriving and now we can continue progress on the all-wheel drive EK sedan so Let's get to see what arrived. All right guys, so pretty much parts are starting to arrive and I'm so stoked that we actually got parts now to where I can actually start making some progress on the car. So first box, I already opened it up just because I wanted to see it, I was too anxious. So first box is actually from MDP. From, I believe they go by the name of Works JDM on Instagram. So what I ended up picking up was this shifter holder. Um, shifter cable holder. So basically, this is a holder that gets drilled into the floorboard or the tunnel where the drive shaft's gonna go. And it's actually gonna lock the cables inside and make sure that they're not flimsy or anything like that. And that way they're routed correctly. So that way usually you get a bunch of extra cables inside, hanging inside, and the angle's wrong. Because that's exactly what happened when I ran my last one, the K-Tune one, on my K-Series wagon. So unfortunately, I decided not to use that. And fortunately, I decided to run with this. It was actually pretty good on um, pricing, especially for it being all billet and custom made. I believe they started making parts maybe a couple years ago, and the product they're coming out with is actually A1. So huge shout out to Works JDM and NDP for the awesome product and just jumping on board and helping out with this part. Also, more piping has finally arrived. So now we have three inch piping, 90 degree bend, we also have some straights and we also got some v-bands that we really needed so this is going to be another step in the right direction of getting this dump tube and this downpipe 100 percent finalized already um, i'm still waiting on more package from them there's two packages that are arriving so this one just arrived and so i know we can make some progress with this um there's some bends that i have to talking with dana he told me just to go ahead and buy his extras and those are the bends that we're actually waiting for because I need to make some transitions and it's better to make a smooth transition than a lot of pie cuts and just try to block any of the air. So I don't want to do that. I want this to look very good inside, especially in the engine bay guys. So this is another thing. So let's pretty much get to opening these two boxes here. And I think you guys are going to be stoked when you guys see what's in here. So pretty much guys, you guys can already tell by the packaging tape where this is from. Huge shout out to Sun and especially Pam and them for just the awesome communication that they've had, especially with it being um, some issues with the whole description of billing and so on and so forth. But huge shout out to the S1 team for getting this here securely. Um, it took a while to get here, unfortunately. I know it wasn't their fault. It was just, I blame UPS for it in all honesty because they delayed things on weather, which was bull crap, but it is what it is. We finally have it here now. So let's just get to unboxing this guys. And you guys can see which kit we actually went with. So like Dana said, cut away from yourself, not towards yourself. Just kidding, I'm doing it my way still. Man, I gotta say, the packaging that they do is absolutely amazing. Everything's still intact. Nothing got shifted in the boxes. There's no damage to anything. So pretty much, let me go ahead and open everything up and show you guys what we got in the first box. Actually guys, 
I'm not actually gonna open this stuff up because I don't want it to get damaged anywhere in my garage. So what we did get was actually the forks for the rear struts, for the rear suspension. Um, so we got this, we did get the, it has the plate, it has the mounting bracket for it. Now this is actually the trans bracket, the all-wheel drive one for the trans. So this also came. Also we got the polished rear subframe mount. So this is the full polished one. And so let me go ahead and show you guys, this is all the mounting kit for the sides when we mount the bar to mount the diff. So this is pretty much the full thing, at least as far as being able to mount the rear diff setup on the car. Package number two, guys. Cut away from yourself, not for yourself. Dana, I love you, bro. And yes, I should buy a sharper blade. So this is the kit I ended up going with, and we already know, it is S1, the only kit you can really go with. Um, it's proven for the race, it's proven for the streets, it's proven for pretty much everything. So the trailing arms that I ended up going with was actually these. So this is the actual all-wheel drive kit that I'm gonna be running. Huge shout out to Sun and the S1 team again, especially Pam, I wanna give her a big credit for reaching out to me through Instagram and helping me fix the issue that I had, which was with my billing, because that was what really, a part of also that delayed some of the shipping. And I gotta say, this kit is absolutely amazing. The welds on it, the structure of it, the integrity of it, just the attention to detail that they've put into this to be able to hold these two pieces apart from any um from getting any damage in shipping from them you know collapsing huge shout out to the s1 team i really cannot wait to get this onto the ek sedan all right guys so pretty much as you guys see now we have some parts to be able to get started with especially trying to finish up the dump tube and the down pipe um, but once again huge shout out to sun and the whole S1 team absolutely love their product and I absolutely cannot wait, as you guys can tell, to get this slapped onto the all, to the EK sedan and finally make it all wheel drive. Um, so right now I'm actually gonna be heading out to my friend's house and, and actually go pick up some stuff that I just couldn't pass up on guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy the next stuff that I do buy and pretty much just preparing things. Honestly, I, there's stuff that I'm, I'm still waiting for that I already purchased for and again, you know, we're just trying to make some progress. Progress is better than no progress, as Dana EF Static always says, and it's just the truth. Um, if it wasn't for that man, in all honesty, guys, I probably would have lost everything and just given up on this car. He's helped me maintain a lot of just being cool and being able to just to say, you know what, take your time on it and build your car correctly because at the end of the day, I have nobody else to impress except for myself. Um, and that's all I want to do is just build my dream car. So, yeah, I'm going to head out pick up the next item that I'm going to be picking up for the EK sedan and you guys will see it's all going to make sense so we'll catch you guys when we get back Welcome back. So pretty much you guys can see it is nighttime and we already made our way down to West Covina and we made our way back. I already unloaded everything. I just didn't really want to record all that. So honestly guys, here's what I purchased. And I don't think it was a bad purchase on myself. I picked it up from a good friend of mine, Ant, which I picked up the Domani trunk from. Um, he gave it to me at the deal. He's asking a little bit more for it before and he just wanted it out of his way. So I said, why not? Let's just pick it up. So what I ended up buying guys was actually the EDM left-hand drive, dark gray dashboard, carpet, door panels, all the panels that go around, trim pieces and everything else. And this is a dark gray, I believe it is, or it's a lighter gray kind of. But I am going to be looking for a black carpet because I do want to put black carpet inside of the car anyways. I was that excited. So when I got here, pretty much I ended up just installing the center console. And the center console looks way better than the U.S factory one the factory one as you guys see it used to have this pop-up one here where it didn't work and it had the cd changer here but the good part about this piece is that 
it actually has a cup holder still so after i modify it still to fit the shifter cables and everything else i'm going to be putting my gauges down here i'll probably put my radio down here and put the gauges up here with vice versa whichever way but I think this center console looks way better. Unfortunately, it didn't come with an armrest, so I will be looking for an armrest to go along with this interior. This seat is actually available also for purchase if anybody is interested. It's brand new, it's just mocked up as you guys know about. I'm asking $550 for it. I paid a little bit more than that for it and it's still brand new. It will not come with the slider or the mount or any of that stuff. I'm gonna keep it as a backup just in case I decide to put a seat in here. But I don't wanna keep this seat because at the end of the day, my wife isn't really gonna be comfortable with it and I figured if I'm gonna drive around this to go to shows and meets and go to you know places, I want my wife to be comfortable. So. We are going to be actually looking for SIR interior to go with the front seats and everything else. And I'll just rock the front um, SIR seat at the end of the day. So before we cap out this video, guys, I have one more or two more parts that actually came. Um, not necessarily came, but a good friend of mine, actually a neighbor, um, showed up and asked me if I was interested in a few parts that he had. He, I guess he had bought a K-Series motor and asked me if I was interested. So I said, sure, why not? Let me go ahead and see what you had. What he ended up having was actually some brand new ARP head studs for the K-Swap and also a cosmetic head gasket um, for it. So this is stuff that I was actually gonna be purchasing. I was actually gonna be hitting up um, Hybrid Racing to see if they can help me out also. And I'm pretty sure they would have, but now we have that, so now that's out of the way. Huge shout out to the neighbor for the awesome trade. Um, I ended up trading them a valve cover and also, um, I'm also gonna be powder coating a timing chain cover for him to throw in. So that way it would make it worth it for him also at the end of the day. Um, but again, huge shout out to everybody for all the parts that we did get, especially S1 and the team. Once again, I know I said it multiple times in this video, but their customer service, guys, is A100 and they just get nothing but five stars, 100 stars if I could possibly could. But again, huge shout out to everybody. And if you guys are looking for a kit to go all wheel drive, hit them up because as you guys can tell, the quality is second to none. They absolutely do not skip on anything, especially all their builder products and stuff that they build. But once again, guys, this is gonna conclude the video. Hopefully you guys are excited for the next uh, couple videos that are gonna drop because now we can actually get started on it. So with that being said, guys, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Till next time, please like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys' favorite part of the build is gonna be so far. And again, hit up S1 Build.